most god-awful rates in the Navy? What are they, you ask? These rates are so bad and unfulfilling that they make you consider whether or not you should have joined the Air Force. Huh? Now, that's not a knock at the folks occupying these jobs. I mean, somebody's gotta do them. But if you were looking for a job that was gonna tailor to your own specific interests and not be the reason for you having male pattern baldness at the tender age of 25, then watch out for some of these rates in the Navy. Thankfully, I couldn't do this video without a little bit of help from this video's special guest, Deep Side Official. What's up, everybody? Who's also gonna be telling us his opinion on some of the worst rates in the United States Navy. And that's all this video is, y'all. Just our opinion. Anyone who's watching this and their rate is mentioned, I do apologize in advance. Anyways, let's get right into it. Worst rates in the Navy, in my opinion, are probably the CSs. They work really long hours they work very very hard cs's are there even in port from sun up to sundown typically they're the first ones in the door and the last ones out yes you are a cook or you're running a restaurant but that can be challenging especially from the day in the day out yes that was a good one but here's our second rate Whew. we're gonna be starting off hot boatswain's mate i had to do it to y'all boatswain's mate train direct and supervise personnel in the ship's maintenance duties relating to marlin spikes boat seamanship painting upkeep of the external ship structure, rigging, deck equipment, and lifeboats. In short, they play a pretty big part in making sure these ships remain operational for the fleet. However, the rate is pretty physical on the body and you're going to be doing a lot of painting, shipping, and overall maintenance on the ship. So, if sweating your ass off and being outside all day, doing endless painting is your thing, then this rate is probably for you. And HG is a whole technician, so typically they're the ones running like the plumbing and, you know, fixing anything wrong with the ship's piping, sewers, anything like that. So, say on deployment, somebody flushes something down the toilet they're not supposed to right the hts are supposed to go deal with all that human fecal matter and get that stuff out so the toilets can flush it's a pretty hard job uh pretty nasty i personally wouldn't want to do it so that's the reason why i would say that is one of the worst rates in the navy Ugh, sounds like a shitty situation to be in okay 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 all right so our next rate is going to be undez that doesn't count jameel undez is a rate fuck you man okay timmy i know you're in depth right now and did again rate and the recruiter said that you have the freedom to pick and choose any rate you want after two years. But here are the facts. When you go in Des, you do a lot of, what's that called? Oh yeah, bitch work. So you're basically doing everything a BM would do if you struck pack scene. Please, for the love of God, don't force yourself to make a decision in the spur of the moment. If they're telling you that all you have to do is go in Des, please leave. And I'll be damned if my subscribers are subjected to stand watching the rain or constantly be treated like shit. <laughs> Any type of nuclear engineer, anything like that, usually they sign really long contracts, but they get E4 like straight out the gate, but their contracts are usually like six to eight years typically. So say you get in and you do all this training for like two, three years, and then you get out to the fleet and you're like, man, I hate this. Well, that sucks for you because you've signed on for pretty much your entire 20s, 30s, anything like that whenever you first sign up. Another reason I think nukes are one of the worst rates in the Navy is usually on underways and deployments, they have to be there two days before and two days after to make sure the reactor works good. Pretty hard working. They're there also for a very, very long time. So that job definitely sucks. Don't nuke it, y'all. So here's the final rate that we're coming out with, damage controlmen. These guys right here are the actual unsung heroes. Yes, you will be responsible for putting out fires and performing emergency repairs. And on top of that, you'll always be constantly running drills. On the ship, it's everyone's responsibility to put out immediate threats and are trained in doing so. However, damage controlmen are specifically called upon to perform duties such as firefighting and shall I say control the damage <laughs> anyways y'all I hope you guys enjoyed this video and make sure you show my boy deep side some love on his channel if you guys haven't already make sure to leave a like and subscribe and as always stay classy